as your dungeon master, I'm starting this game of Dungeons and Dragons with all of your characters sitting around a table at the local tavern. My fighter orders a tankard of ale. My wizard is memorizing his spells. My thief counts his gold pieces. My cleric prays to her son god. Okay, a Grinch walks up to the bar. Can I speak Grinch? Grinch isn't a language. It speaks common and orders an eggnog. The thief wants to pick his pocket. You'll suffer encumbrance penalties for carrying the treasure you stole last game. Unless another player character will hold it for you. Not me. Your larceny is against my cleric's religion. I'll hold your treasure if I can keep half of it. <sighs> A simple no thank you would have sufficed. I'm sorry, but if I carry any extra weight, then my magic spells might fail. Darn it. I need a bag of holding. The Grinch turns to you. Did I overhear you need a magic bag? Yes. How many gold pieces for it? <laughs> I don't have one, but I know where you can steal one. An old enemy of mine has a very good one, and I'd like... For him to lose it before Christmas Eve. <laughs> Who? Old Saint Nick. He lives due north of... Everywhere. Alright. Let's go kick Santa's ass. My lawful good cleric will not go along with this. She says, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Stop playing your character's alignment. Don't worry, thief. I got this. My black-robed wizard casts Charm Person on the cleric and orders her to go along with the Grinch's quest. That's not very nice. Sorry, I'm just playing my character's alignment. Chaotic evil. The Grinch says, Have fun storming the workshop! <laughs> And so, you embark on your journey to the North Pole. Soon, you reach a frozen lake. The thief moves silently and hides in shadows. So does the fighter. Okay, your fighter wearing plate mail tries to quietly tiptoe across ice and snow. Roll an unskilled sneak check and subtract your armor check penalty. Negative three. A wandering monster hears you and attacks. I draw my sword and attack it. Wait, what is it? Maybe we can make friends with it. A snow golem! I cast a fireball at it. A giant sphere of flame engulfs the monster, melting it. Yes, I save the fighter. He owes me now. But the fighter was standing right next to the snowman, so he also takes 25 hit points of fire damage. I search its body for treasure. The thief finds a corncob pipe, a button, and two lumps of coal. The rest of you spot a small factory in the distance. I say we raid it at night. Is Charm Person still in effect? Yes. I'm sorry. So, after dark, you approach Santa's workshop. When suddenly, you are bathed in a bright red light. Oh no. Is it a fire-breathing dragon? Close. A red-nosed reindeer charges toward you with its razor-sharp antlers. I cast Fireball. You can't, because you already used that spell today. I cast Purify Food and Drink. Okay... Rudolph turns into venison in a glowing cranberry glaze. 
I eat it. Roll a constitution saving throw. But the cleric purified it. The venison was cursed. The cleric's spell only removes diseases. I rolled a 1, plus 3 from my 18 constitution. You failed. So, your nose now glows from a continual red light spell. <laughs> and all the other adventurers laugh and call you names. Like Pinocchio. <laughs> Don't be sad. Now you can be our party's torchbearer. I want to sneak inside the workshop. What do I see? You see an unlimited number of elves making toys. I cast a sleep spell on the elves. Nothing happens because elves don't sleep. I knew that. My thief can speak elf. I say, you don't need to work in this sweatshop as slaves to the tyrant Olds and Nick anymore. We're here to free you. Roll a bluff check. A natural 20. That's a success! All the elves cheer your coming and go on a strike, inciting a riot. They start smashing all the toys, but the noise draws the attention of Santa Claus. I draw my sword and attack him. Make an attack and damage roll. Wait, even charmed. My cleric wouldn't stand for killing a saint. But Santa doesn't worship your character's sun god. Instead, he operates at night, breaking into homes, so he can bribe children with presents into worshipping his belly full of jelly. And then he eats their cookies. Well then. I guess it's okay for us to attack him. I got 12 on the attack roll and 25 for damage. That's a hit! Santa Claus staggers and drops to the floor. With his last breath, he utters, Ho, ho, ha! And falls unconscious. I've defeated the mighty Santa Claus. How many XP is that? I search his body for the magic sack. You got it. Yes, now I can carry more stuff and still be sneaky. Santa is also wearing a fake beard. What? I take it off him. You learn that the man in the red suit is really... Your father. And the fighter's father. And the cleric's father. And the wizard's father. So we're all siblings. Half brothers and sisters with different mothers. But fate has brought you together. Because Christmas is about family. Oh my son God, I cast cure wounds on our dad and hope that he forgives us. Santa dad accepts your apology and gives you each a present. What is it? The greatest gift in the world. Copies of... The Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game! <laughs>